life, you no know, destiny. Mm -hmm. South Africa, Rhodesia, Zimbabwe, any, anywhere around there. As soon as that mm -hmm. is straightened up and everyone knows where that is, then we know we're moving somewhere. But until that is come and go, talk and talk, nothing really happen. You know, no leader can do anything. You know what I mean? Because that's really a stumbling block right now. I know uh, a lot of uh, Africans that come from different parts of the world, whether born on the continent or not, come to America and they look at uh, so-called black Americans and a lot of us seem to be hung up into materialism, Hollywood, and things like this. Uh, how do you view uh, the black American in terms of making contributions to the revolution? Marcus Gavin come to America and get up over six million black people already. So as the black people in America is one of His Majesty hand me when say I'm having the West. Yeah. So, you know, you might find a one and two kind of but you have a lot of them are solid. We get for the right time. Africa mm -hmm. is clear. We come for the Africans here, not the black Americans. The Africans are told me Africa. 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 Uh -huh. uh, this yeah. is you will cut out the America part. Yeah. So this would be primarily a pan Africanist view. Yeah. We are all Africans. Yes. Yes. All yes. At the same time, you can't tell some people. As far as I see it, at the same time, you cannot tell some black people who call themselves, like I said, black Americans that, you know. Because they're here working for their money and their big house and their car and their insurance and their debt benefit. I <laughs> tell you, I'm going to live here and be fat and work and retire and die. And have cancer. You know, so you cannot even deal with them people then. You have to deal with the Africans. You know, a leopard cannot change his spot now that you eat up on the skin. You know, so we're looking for people who know it with the mark of the Almighty upon them heart. Yeah, I'm sure there are a lot of um, revolutionary-minded black Americans, but um, they are powerless without the mass of black Americans being conscious, you know. The only way they can do anything mentally, spiritually, or physically is if they have the people behind them. Unity is spirit. You know? One thing you have to remember that as black people, our gift is wisdom and knowledge, and that's been hidden from black people for a long time. So we now have to be aware of that fact and start to use it because it's our natural talent. So uh, that's part of you know the whole thing is to know what your talent is and search for your roots. You know, because the deeper you go, the further out you can branch. Yeah, unity is the highest power. Definitely, we strive towards unity. Yeah, and we don't, we don't necessarily want war, you know what I mean? But if the only way you can get your freedom is to fight for it, then you have to fight. If you corner a rat, he's going to stay there scared for a while, but after a while he's going to jump you, you know? And look how small he is. So, people. <laughs> yeah, man. At the same time, also, that um, we never talk about war, you know? We're not talking about just gun and being it and bombs and missile and all them things now. Talking about earthquake, lightning and thunder. Spiritual you know, I got all the, all the business here, yeah, them click, click and them, them things that cannot work in the war, you know. The war, <laughs> even the spiritual war, you know. Mm -hmm. So when you ever talk about war, don't think so we carry a gun and knife on us. We dealing with a higher divinity. Vibration. Rasta man vibration, which is lightning, earthquake, because the earth, they come back for what it wants, you know, for itself, you know. Because man is trying to be as powerful as God. Pan African struggle because they're very, everyone is very. I see a lot of influence from the West there. I mean, people are worried about acquiring wealth so they can get their Mercedes. And yeah, those people are not, they're running the countries and they're not concerned about pulling the movement and bringing up the masses. Well, the first thing you have to do is get rid of the pan. This pan African thing is a, is a, is a, is a mix up thing, you know. The African wow. thing we're dealing with now. Yeah. Well, you're going to, you see, God said, I shall gather my children from afar and from the ends of the earth. See my David? So you see, just like how Israel crossed the Red Sea mm -hmm. and come all in places, so, mm -hmm. we have to cross it again. History must repeat itself, you know, because God live. See? So forget about this pan business. Mm -hmm. Pan-African. No pan-African.